The other question I get a lot about is um, how does a gyroplane handle turbulence? So this is probably one of the largest selling points for me is I like to fly low and slow. I like to be able to uh, you know, fly over you know, areas that have difference in terrain. There could be a hot day. Like right now it's about five o'clock. I went uh, flying earlier today at about three o'clock, two o'clock, hot day out. And you don't really feel the turbulence. I say it's about 10% of what you feel in an airplane. So because what happens with the gyroplane's rotors is that as you get turbulence or a thermal that rises up or something that uh, is pushing wind over the surface that then hits your aircraft, uh, what happens is that the rotors actually will absorb that by spinning up a little faster or slowing down. And the rotors just manage that. So I haven't looked at my rotor airspeed except to point it out to you right now uh, this whole, whole time. Right now we're at 370. If I were to hit a thermal, it might go up to 380. It's just going to kind of absorb it. We might get mushed up a little bit. We might kind of go down a little bit. But for the most part, you're not going to have ever these uh, situations to go boom, you know, or a big a hit to your, your, your aircraft or your gyroplane, contrary to what you might feel in a, in a small airplane. So an example of that is if I do a tight turn to the left or right, like I did here, I'm at 370 uh, on my rotor RPM, give or take right now. I'm going to hit it to the left uh, hard, you know, doing those 45 degrees. Let's see how high this rotor RPM can get. I'll pull the stick back. There's some G loading. We're about 60 degrees, so that's got to be two Gs right there. <laughs> and I've got 450 on the rotor RPM. Lost a little airspeed. I mean, I lost a little altitude, gained a little airspeed. But what happened is as I added G loads, which is essentially what happens with a thermal or some turbulence, it might hit up with the rotor and it just spins it up a little faster. So it's the same thing. And the gyroplane just absorbs that.